All right, here's the retro receiver firmware version 1.25. And so here's my program that I'm using to test it. This is an Apple IIc that I'm running it on. Uh, so you can see I'm getting the paddles, then I'm getting the buttons, and then I'm just printing out the values and whether the buttons are pressed or not. So let's go ahead and, and we'll run this program. And I should be already synced up. So you can see I can hit the buttons and I get zero and one just like before. Um, oh, uh, one thing I should point out is also it looks like 8 bit Doe fixed the problem with the two buttons being mashed down when you first turned on the computer. So it no longer goes into self test mode, which is great. Uh, so now for the thumbstick. So as I'm moving this, I'm going to move it to the left, and you can see it goes down to 11 reasonably smoothly. I'm going to move it back up, and we actually are getting decent analog values, and I can go all the way up to 252. Uh, so it doesn't go all the way to zero on the left, and it doesn't go all the way to 255, uh, but it does look a lot more uh, smooth in between. So that's an improvement. For the Y, it's about the same thing. So it goes down to 10, not zero, smoothly back up to 133, uh, really should be 128, and then all the way up to 252, not 255. Uh, as far as the D-pad goes, I can get that to go from 11 to 255 with 134 in the middle. And then for Y, it's 10 to 255 uh, with 133 in the middle. So ideally, you'd like all these to go to zero at the left and 255 um, there at the, the top and then be 128 in the middle. And so you can see both the D-pad and the thumbstick, uh, they don't go down to zero and they don't go, um, at least the thumbstick doesn't go all the way to 255. So it's definitely an improvement, uh, not great, uh, but kudos to 8 Doe for making it a little bit better. Maybe they can just make a few more tweaks and have it go all the way the full range, zero to 255. All right, so now on an Apple II Plus, things are not quite as good. Uh, so this is using the 16 to 9 pin adapter with the retro receiver plugged in and the buttons still work. Uh, however, now the thumbstick is pegged at 255 when I'm not even touching it. Um, I can, and you can see it's kind of jumping all over the place too. Um, I can try and move the X and I get a few intermediate values, but it really just kind of jumps between 11 and 255. Uh, and then moving it over, I kind of get nothing. For the Y, it's kind of the same thing. I can get it to jump around a little bit, um, but not much uh, variation there and definitely not smooth. Uh, for the D-pad, it's 11 on the left and it's 255 in the middle. For the Y, it's the same thing. Uh, so, for whatever reason, the Apple II Plus, uh, maybe because of the 16-pin to 9-pin adapter, just doesn't respond as well.